Let's get a little light turned on here. Uh, got a cat jumped in my lap here, but uh, <laughs> the gatekeeper here, <clears throat> fresh off the hot plate. We have a uh, 4X DEI 1446 Class C amplifier. With a cat in my lap. So some other stuff we got to deal with out here. <laughs> She's like my guard dog out here. This trimmer and that trimmer, of course, will be taken out. I'm going to take it back over to the uh, main little Debbie bench over there mic them in been kind of looking forward to doing one of these uh, DEI wise just kind of see performance in this case some of y'all ask these are Texas Texas star combiners using a sweet 16 brand new though brand new combiners they are Texas Star combiners had them laying around thought I'd throw them on in get some good 61 ferrite transformers there automatic sideband delay I think I already mentioned that got that all ready for a remote or a Y-mote wireless remote which I have released now. I'll tell you a little more about that at the end of the video. Alrighty. Well, this is a high drive amplifier. Don't have a variable or anything on the front, just an on and off. Because of that, what I'm going to be doing is hitting it with my bench radio first, which is doing about four bird watts, 20 or so PEP. And then after that, we'll be hooking up a little hot radio down there. My little stick man modified hot radio. And uh, throw about eight, eight to ten bird into her. Just to kind of give y'all an idea of what these uh, DEI 1446s are doing. Okay. Done this for a local buddy of mine, Mr. Uh, Mr. Georgia Outlaw. Buddy of mine I went to school with out here, actually. Back in the old school era. Been wanting to do a build for him. We finally got one done here. And uh, we are not on the dummy load. We're on a live antenna right now. I just want to show him the... Uh, the actual SWR of the output on a live antenna. I usually just don't show it because you have to unhook stuff, take off the dummy load, this, that. I usually finish up something and start the video right then. But uh, also, I want to get my bird meters. Bird meters be in soon, and I'll be able to have them in line at all time. And I'll be able to show, uh, show everything all at once. That's the way I want it. All right. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and show you what we're going to be putting in to it from the bench radio. Got about 1.2 watt dead key. Audio, te 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 audio, 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 testing, audio, 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 te 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 audio, te 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 te. Alrighty, we get that hot radio on down there. Let me turn that off. Picking up some feedback from there. All right, we're gonna put about 20 watts into her. Let's flip on this power supply. We're gonna be hitting it 13.7 volts. Okay. 
We've got our input right here. 10 watt slug in the reverse. Alrighty. Might help if we turn this on, wouldn't it, y'all? <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. All righty, 370, 400 watts. Oh, just let you look at the input tune. Oh, input tune looks good. 100 is 10, 40 is 4, 20 is 2, and between that is 1. Oh, t -t 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 -t. so we're looking at maybe like 100 milliwatts, maybe even lesser than that. That's the way you want it, right there. Oh, t -t 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 all righty. Now, we're looking at about three, looks like about 360 to 400 watts with a <clears throat> four watt bird RMS swing. 20 watts PEP. This is a high drive amplifier. All right, so now we're going to hook a hot radio into it. We're going to turn this radio off. Turn this radio on. We're going to grab this coax here. Which is going into the input of this amp. We're going to come back here and plug it into the hot radio. This radio is doing some, somewhere around 45 PEP. Come on now, go on in there. There we go. Turn this off just to make sure it's this is the hot radio. Alright, we're gonna be putting about 40, 40 to 50 watts. Pretty much be safe to say that. 40 or 50 watts. Alrighty. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Uh, looks like we're getting about 550 watts. Oh, dear, 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 dear. About 550, 560. Let's go ahead and pump that on up to about 15 too, y'all. I don't know if she'll do 600. This right here, man. I mean, this thing, this thing is swinging some amperage, buddy. It's getting close to getting close to pegging out this power supply over here. Let's see what we can get out of her. Oh, here we go. Six hundred and sixty-two watts PEP, man. This thing is dumping, son. This uh this is your uh <laughs> bird in, bird out radio right here, man. Oh, tu 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 tu. Oh, tu 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 tu. Let you see the amperage swing on this cotton picker. I, I forgot to show you the bench radio. The bench radio will only drive it to about 15 amps on the bench radio. Okay, this is what this one does. Oh, oh, that is amperage. So it is right under pulling 30 amps. 30 amps. And that is on 15.2 volts. Oh, close. I'd say probably about 28 amps if I took a wild guess. Do. 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 This thing's stroking, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie about that. This thing's doing pretty good, man. But uh, that radio dumped some good, uh, good bird watts in this thing, man. 
Shoot, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even run that radio with this cotton picker. I'd just run a good four watt radio and let it roll, man. You know what I'm saying? Run a good four watt bird. I'm talking about bird, man. Get you a good 20, 20, 25 watt PEP swinging radio, man. Put it on this cotton picker, man, and let it last forever. That's the way I like to run things. But hey, you could always put you a big monster radio if you want, but hey. Keep that fan spinning, keep that air flowing. I just, uh, a lot of people ask, you know, hey, uh, you're showing it doing this and that. What I'm doing here when I make these videos, I'm just, I'm just wanting to show you the max of what this, what a particular amplifier can do under these conditions. I'm just trying to show you a max. You see what I'm saying? I don't mean, hey, I'm showing you that this is doing this amount. That's not that. I ain't, that don't exactly mean I'm telling you you should run it at that amount. You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting you know what what, what I can get the or a particular amp to do max on my conditions. You know, my amount of amperage, voltage, and drive. That's why I like to let you see how much I'm driving. I like to let you see everything. Cause that's the way it's supposed to be. I don't. You know, I watched a video not too long ago, and a guy was showing a. A uh, two by four was only doing like I don't remember, maybe six hundred on the on on a dozy, a two by four, a one by four, I believe it was. I can't quite remember. And uh, the whole question was, was, well, how much are you driving into it? If you're only driving, you know, four four or five watts PEP, I guess okay, I can understand that. But you know, if you're driving four bird or six bird in that thing, man, it should be doing a little bit more. But, you know, the fella didn't let you know how much he's driving into it. So, really, the, the output means nothing at that point because you don't know the conditions. That's why I like to let y'all know the conditions. Well, there you go. Just a nice, uh, simple, straight to the point. Class C4X 1446. Gatekeeper amplifier. Straight, straight off the hot plate, fella. Straight off the hot plate. I like this build. You can get these uh, transistors for a really good price. I'm happy with the way they're showing output. Now, let's just see how well they hold up. That's going to be the big question. Hopefully, they're going to hold up pretty well under proper using and not overvolting and overdriving. All righty. Well, that's that. I do it for this video. And uh, I do want to uh, mention that I have now released the y -motes wireless remote technology real simple you just plug it in the back of your amp back here you just plug it into the back and you have a little remote and you turn it on and off maybe i should have had one hooked up to demonstrate that but we got them all right there ready for some selling got a couple right there some more in the box over there so anybody want to try out a y mode a wireless remote don't have to run any wires up to the front of your vehicle. Plug it into the back. You're ready to go. Turn your amplifier on with a wireless remote. Anything to save you a little time, a little room. God bless. 73s. All those magic numbers. The gatekeeper out right here in northeast Georgia on this beautiful night. Going to take it over there to the bench, get the top put on and all that good stuff, wrap it on up, and tell the man to come pick it up. Mr. Gatekeeper said it, I'm going to go.